We need to find a home to get rid of 7 million tonnes of excavated material. We needed material in order to create 65 hectares of new wildlife habitat. Wallace is a brilliant place to create intertidal habitat, but it's too low lying. So what we needed to do was build the island up. And uh, in order to do that, we needed uh, good, clean material. And uh, that's where Crossrail came in with their clay from the tunnels under London. So we're standing in one of the tunnels which has been excavated by a tunnel boring machine. And that machine is seven metres in diameter. It excavates the material as it builds the tunnel. And the material is then taken to the surface via a shaft. We then have to transport it to Wallasey, and we do this by a combination of road, rail and water. When the material starts to move in and you start to see the island being built up and you see it take shape, it really sort of drives home to you what you're building here. The area of habitat we've created is around 165 hectares, so that's um, 1.6 square kilometres of new habitat, so it's a mixture of salt marsh, mud flat, and lagoons and it's going to support 20,000 birds using the area and we're creating the perfect conditions with the crossroad material for those species to benefit. There's no way we could have completed the project in the way we have without the crossroad material. It is essential to deliver the habitats that we're creating on the Essex coast. And for us this gives Crossroad certainty over its programme. It enabled us to manage our project so that we could dictate what would happen, which gives us cost certainty and programme certainty and overall brings efficiency to the project. This is actually the first time I've come down into the tunnels and I've, I've seen pictures of it but actually being here, the sound, the smell and the, the feel of it has been incredible, incredible experience. You look for partnerships to help you deliver what you want to do. You can't expect to do everything yourself or within your small organisation. And if you can develop these partnerships and these relationships, you never know where it may go. You may have problems the next day you didn't realise and these people can help you with that too. We're not just building the railway. And by going into these sorts of partnerships, we can show the construction. We can do a lot more. And so Wallasey Island, I think, will forever be linked to Crossrail in a lot of people's minds. And I think that's something that everyone on the project is really proud of. We haven't just built a railway. We've built a very, very useful wildlife habitat and shown that construction can work with organisations that you wouldn't normally think could work together to get what we both need.